Hi guys, today we have a shopping haul for you. On Friday we went shopping in Milton Keynes in the January sales as it was the first day the shops were properly open since New Year. And we thought we'd show we thought we'd show you everything we got because we tried to vlog that day but it went really wrong because we forgot to actually film anything. So we just thought we'd do a haul instead and show you guys what we got. So we're gonna get straight into it and start with what we got in New Look where we spent an hour and a half trying things on and looking through the sale racks. I didn't actually and that wasn't even half of it. So we spent a lot of time in New Look, so we'll just show you what we got. So the first thing I got is this top, it's kind of long. And it's like a see-through sheer material at the front with, I think these are meant to be like blurred flowers. And this was £5, yeah, £5. And I think it'll be alright to wear to school, it's just got a plain black back. So I thought that'd be good. The first thing I picked up was this mint green short dress that has like a flowy bit at the bottom and then a other bit at the top. What, what are they called? Lace. A lace bit at the top and that was nine pounds the next thing i got was an oversized um crop t-shirt so i got it in a size 14 obviously because that makes it oversized and it was four pounds it's just this pastel again like messy flower kind of print and it just looks like this and i thought it looked good with like high-waisted jeans or maybe even shorts when we're in america so i got that and it's quite soft as well so it'll be nice and cozy Next thing I got was this flower print top with a white collar that's see-through, so you'd have to wear that stuff underneath, but it's nice and it was £8. The next thing I got from New Look, which was also £8, was this um, dress, it's just got like, uh, I'm not sure how to describe this colour, it's like a circle collar with just like a white stripe and it's just a plain black bodycon dress. And that's the last piece of clothing I got from New Look. The next thing I got was this bird print top with a cream collar. And I think this was £8 but I took the tag off of it. So I don't know. And that's the end. The next thing I got is a pair of shoes. And these are a bit different to what I'd normally buy. Normally I just stick to plain colours. But I thought I'd get something a little bit different because they might look nice with some shorts that I've got. And it's these kind of... They're kind of pump things, I guess, like a spin-off of Converse kind of shoes. And they're in rose gold and they're shiny. And these were only £4 in the sale, so I thought, why not get them if I don't wear them that much? And it's not really that much of a deal, but I think I will wear them a lot, especially in their run-up to summer. So, that is them. The next thing I got was a three-quarter pair of white leggings to wear with some of my lighter coloured dresses. And the last thing I got in the look was a Kelly Brook. Um, a nail polish, just a green one. It's yeah, a light green. Yeah, it's like a light green. I was just looking to see if it had a name, but it doesn't. So, just a light green colour like this. The next place we went to was H&M, and I'm the only one that got something in there, and all I got was two basic skirts from their basic range, which were three ninety nine each. So I just got a black one, because this will be alright to wear to school with tights. And I also got it in a red colour as well well because I thought it's a bit different and it goes away from the black and that is everything I got in H&M. After that we then went to Celeste and we got quite a bit of stuff although I got less than she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the first thing I got was this dress it was five pounds and it is like a dog tooth print is what it was called it's just a bodycon dress but I got this in a couple of sizes bigger so it's a bit looser so that is what that looks like, monochrome, and I like it a lot. The first thing I got was two pairs of just plain black long-legged leggings, and they were two for £8. The next thing I got was this jumper. This was £4, I believe, but I wore it yesterday, so it would take the price tag off. And it's just this black jumper. It's like a zip detail in here, and it's like a sweatshirt kind of material. It's really warm and cosy and baggy. It's really nice for the rest of winter. The next thing I got was this another mint green flowery dress that is the dress. And that was 
seven pounds. Um, sticking with the winter theme of the sweater, I then got a beanie kind of loose hat. Yeah, a plain knit beanie, a light pink one, and this was one pound fifty. So I thought I'd get it because I want to wear a hat when it's cold, but I'm not sure if this is going to look right yet or not because it's quite big. But we'll soon find out. And it was only one pound fifty anyway, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit. The next thing I got was this flowery tea dress and it just had flowers on it and it was £7. Sticking with flowers, I've got a few summer bits. This top was £4 and it's like a loose vest top. And it's just bright pink with grey and white flowers on it. So I thought this would be really good with just plain back trousers for school or shorts in the summer. The next thing I got was also flowery and it's another dress and it was £10. Another pink, grey and black thing that I got is another top in the same style, again £4, but this one's just like a, not checks, but like stripy kind of crisscrossy pattern and I really like it and again it'll be good with black trousers for school. Then the next thing I got was another tea dress and this has like daisies on it and it was £7. I actually didn't get anything else from Select but Zoe still got a few more dresses so she's going to show them. The next one I got was another one with flowers on so it was £8 and upside down and it's just another dress with a collar and it's nice. The next dress I got was this purple and black one with long sleeves and it was six pounds. Okay. The next dress I got was this red and black one and it's the black's kind of in flower shapes and it's a really soft material and it was only seven, eight pounds. That's all I got from Select. Okay, the next place we went to was Boots and I got a couple of things and you got one. So we both got these Merry Kiss much soap and glory um they're like baubles for your tree and inside they have a juicy peach lip balm in them so we've both got those and they were two pounds fifty each so they're normally five pounds but they were half price and the next thing that i got was another like tree decoration kind of bauble thing um and inside you get a 200 milliliter righteous butter which is only 100 millilitres um, smaller than the normal one you can buy, which is something like £8, and this was £3, normally £6. So we thought they were a good deal, and we probably should have got some more for like presents for people in the year and just take them out as four balls, but we didn't, we forgot. We kind of didn't think of that until we got home. Um, the next place I went to was Lush. And I got six things. So I'll be able to tell you what three of them are because I've got them in two separate lushes and only one of them put the stickers on. So the first thing, these are from Boxing Day, so we got me them whilst I was working. And this is the Magic Wand Bubble Bar, which I really like. And everything was half price because it was after Christmas and used the Christmas line. So that's what I got. It smells kind of a bit like Candy Mountain, although a lot of people would say it doesn't, but it's a kind of scent that I like. And this can be like, you, you, you run it into the tap, like, swish it under running water and you can use it multiple times. So you get a lot of use out of it. It's normally £5.95 full price, I think, or something like that. The next thing I've got is a bathroom that I did buy before Christmas that I really liked. And this is Cinder's. It's like a cinnamon, kind of, warmy, spicy bath bomb that I really like the smell of. So I've got another one of those. And this is the Dashing Santa which I have never tried before, but it smells quite nice and I will probably get it again next year if it is out. And I'll be able to tell you what it's like in a bath when mm. I've had a bath, obviously. The next thing I've got is this bath bomb. I can't remember what it's called, but it's pink. It's got the flowers on. I'll try and find the name and leave it in the description box if I can. I just like the smell of this. It's for some reason today it smells a bit like cleaning products, but I do like this bath bomb. That was really bad uh, describing as a scent there. This next one is called Melting Marshmallow Moment, I think it is. 
marshmallow and pink. I just really like the smell of this. It's a bath melt. Bath, bath, bath melt. I can't remember. But I don't really know how to describe the smell. It's just quite sweet. And I quite like the sweet smell. So got that. And that makes lots of bubbles. It's really nice. And this is my favourite thing from Lush. I'm going to say that but I can't actually remember the name. I want to say it's called the Candy Bar. But again I'll leave it in the description box if I can find out why it's called. And this is just really sweet as well. And it comes with a flower on and this is my all time favourite bubble bar from Lush. Next we went in the works and I bought a lot of loom bands. So I bought this 4,000 scented loom bands because they were reduced to a pound. Then I also bought ten packs of green bands that have two sections in each because they were ten p a bag, and that's all I bought in the work. I just got a book in the works called "Wish You Were Here" by Mike Gale. Um, I read the blurb and a couple of the pages inside, and it seemed quite interesting, so I got that. And it actually went through at 59p, which is a bargain for a book like this. So I'll be reading that soon. And then on Amazon I ordered more new bands. Last of all, I brought quite a lot of makeup bits. So I'm not going to say where each thing's from because it would just take too long. But I'll just tell you what I've got. So I've got the Revolution um, Makeup Redemption Palette, which is the Iconica 3, which is apparently quite a good dupe for the Naked 3 and I've already got the Iconica 2 which is the dupe for the Naked 2 um, and this is what it looks like so quite good colours it looks exactly like the Naked really but I don't have the Naked so comparing to pictures it does so I'll probably get the number one when they have it back in stock as well so I've got the full set um, I also got a Revolution Ultra Bronze bronzer and this is just like a big bronzer and it's a matte one as well they do a shimmery one but I prefer matte ones also got three lipsticks again these are matte ones I got them in the colour Scarlet Siren Peachy Keen and Totally Nude and they're just these red pink and nude colours and I like matte lipsticks a lot more than I like um, normal lipsticks like shimmery and glossy lipsticks so I thought I'd give these a try and I've already got Wild Berry from this range and this anyway, by the way, I forgot to say. So I'll be giving those a go. The next things I've got is a range of nail polishes. So I've got a China Glaze one and this is in the shade Fifth Avenue, which is this nice browny, pinky kind of nude colour. I then got a Ciate paint pot in Superficial, which is like a dark turquoisey colour then got Essie Style Nomic which is a deep greeny black colour which is what I've actually got on my nails now and finally we got Dover Street Market from Nails Inc which is a deep purple colour and the final makeup bits I got from um, two different bands so one is what's this one called Look Beauty I've got two lipsticks, I've got Petal Nude, which is what I've got on my lips now, and Berry Vamp, which are just in um, deep purple and a pinky nude. And also from that brand, I got a Cheeky Trio, which is a bronzer, highlighter and blusher palette. And finally from the brand, I think you say it Per, I'm not per sure. Mineral. Yeah, Per Minerals. I've got a lip pencil and a 3-in-1 lip eyebrow and eyeliner um, things and I've just got the lip liner in pink chin gypsum I don't know it goes really well with the lipstick anyway because I've got both on today and the brows is just in natural which again I've used today thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel check out last week's video which was what we got for Christmas and stay tuned for next week's video bye Lips, pale face